Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Alex Press, and it's that time of the week. Uh, your weekly fish report. Now, one reminder: home stretch, snake and tournament, fifty-one hundred dollars first place. And then Sunday, so get out there and fish. You got a couple of days here to get it. Right now, you can go to their website and check the scoreboard there. Uh, anybody can win it still. So, uh, we still got time. Make sure you come by and weigh in those fish and get out there and catch them up. Let's get to it. All right, hot talk of the week right now. Well, the past few days and last week, fishing, tuna, fishing, tuna, fishing. All the boys out in the coast are good getting out there to the canyons and catching good numbers of yellowfin and big eye. So everybody's out there going to poor man's, the Washington, Baltimore Canyon. Uh, there's been a couple white marlin releases, but the tuna right now, we're talking about Decent amount of big eyes, de decent amount of yellow fins. So remember, we got your ballot here. We, we got what you need. And a couple of the things that people have been talking about is some daisy chains uh, behind, you know, some of those flappy, flappy things. Uh, also, some of the stretchers uh, will work for you guys. And even just a simple, you know, old classic sea witch uh, daisy chain with a squid behind it will work. Uh, everybody has their f favorite colors. Obviously, mix them up. Get out there early, guys. Uh, I feel like this weekend's going to be a hot one for whatever this morning. It's still on. I've seen a lot of boats heading down to the ocean. So let's be safe out there and let's catch them up. Now, let's jump into what's around here right now. Rockfish. Uh, it's still kind of, you know, kind of up and down, up and down. Most of the guys down south are trolling these guys from Hardhead Customs. Some of my favorites. And these two are the hottest colors right now in the bay, just for trolling. And in general, I mean, Lime Truth is holographic green. We got them in stock right now. Get them while you can. Uh, these guys, you can put inline weights and move them up and down the water comb as you please. So most of them are gonna be pretty much four ounces, light enough to just, you know, keep them up in the water comb by themselves, but you're definitely gonna need some inline weights to get them down deep. Where the fish are? The water, obviously, but Honestly, uh, most of the guys are trolling uh, channel ledges and mainly it's staying kind of like south of the bridge as of now. I heard rumors of people catching them north of the bridge. Uh, kind of confirmed and not confirmed from a lot of people, but a lot of guys are starting to live line the Bay Bridge. And good news for you guys, if you don't want to catch your spot, we have live spot now. We have them in stock. Uh, come in, get them. And remember, you have to use circle hooks now. Don't go out there and put a treble hook, all right? Because you're going to get in trouble. So six knots, one of my favorites. You can go maybe a little bit bigger to a seven knot. Uh, you can do a fish finder on there and add a little bit of weight if you need to. Most of the time you don't, but it all changes. You know, you got to be ready for everything out there. Uh, normally, I like to go without weight to start off around the Bay Ridge piling, smooth from piling to piling. If you get some heavy current, add like that quarter ounce, maybe a little more weight to get them down deep. You don't want to kind of fish them on the bottom, but you want to keep them suspended. So, live line right now. Bay Bridge Pilings has been the best spot right now. Love Point is kind of hit or miss, but there is some fish being caught there. Some of the guys are fishing the lighthouses, live lines. So, like Baltimore Lighthouse, Sandy Point Lighthouse, down by Bloody Point, all those areas where you fisher, it's been good. Thomas Point has actually been pretty good for live lining and jigging early in the morning in some top water later in the evening. So, with that saying, uh, Eastern Bay's producing some good fish in the shallows, but nothing consistent. I mean, you're talking about fish here and there around the islands there, and you know, using four inch paddle tails, five inch paddle tails and whatnot. Some of the better shallow water fishery has been down south towards the chop tank and below. Uh, 10 year sound is still pretty fire right now for trout and rockfish and some puppy drum. You're getting a mix of everything down there if you want to make that trip. Out of Hoopers and run south or run to Crystal and run north or whatever you want to go in those islands. Seen a lot of guys catching good sized rockfish with the uh, classic, you know, um, walking dog baits here. Those are going to be pretty good for you guys out there fishing around the marsh. And if you want some more aggressive fishing those, and this is actually new from Hoagie, we got some of these actual small poppers with a lot of rattles in there. They'll create some good strikes for you guys. Uh, down south, uh, mackerel are showing up too. Kobe are starting to show up in the middle grounds. Not as crazy, but they are there. Uh, and troll some of the spoons, guys. Uh, the Clark spoon, some of the bigger 
uh, pretty much hard hit uh, spoons that we got in stock. Uh, they're gonna catch pretty much everything out there. Uh, the speckled trout fishery is so good, like I said, uh, pretty much all around that area. And also, point lookout in the office has been picking up for most of that. Now, some of your perch fish from around this area. I've heard a lot of guys have been going out and actually jigging for perch on the pilings. And this is what you want. You can tandem rig them or just by themselves on lighter line. 15, 10 foot of water around the pilings. And this guy's one of my favorites. It's got a little, little spinner. I've been thinking about going out there and jigging that around the pilings there for some of those jumbo humpback white perch out there. So that's been pretty good. Now, short fishermen, uh, you guys are catching a mix of big old blue cats with cut bait all around the parks in this area. A lot of small to mid sized rockfish at night at uh, Kent Narrows still. And also, you're picking up a few croaker in a few spots. Now, check the book or check the difference because there are some guys are getting confused out there. You cannot keep uh, you know, croaker under nine inches and use them for bait. So, check the regulations for that. Uh, spot are great for live lines. If you catch them out there, throw them out there on the bobber or something, you'll catch rockfish. Snakehead fishing, going back to that. Um, white frogs, walk the dog baits like that sunfish have been pretty good. And it's actually been weird. Uh, most of the people I talked to this uh, this week, especially for Blackwater, have not. It's it's a mix of like depending on where you are, people are seeing fry balls, people are not seeing them. It's back and forth. I don't know if it's anything to do with the rain or what, but the fish are there. Most of the fish are catching. Going to be long and skinny since they're post spawn. They're going to be feeding right now. There, I've seen a lot of fish that are 30, 31 inches that are just weighing about eight or nine pounds. So. Don't get discouraged. There are some 10 pounders out there. All it's going to take is for one of you to catch three 10 pounders, bring them in here, and you're going to win the tournament most likely, unless you catch hammers. So, with that, uh, Tuxton River has been pretty good. And I uh, checked the water levels because it's been raining, so it might get murky. Down jug bay is pretty good, and the guys down in the Potomac have been producing good with just boat fishing. Uh, not a lot of action with just regular fishing during the day. And the flats uh, are actually producing some good fish up there, especially uh, right around the Bush River and all those the gunpowder and whatnot. So check those areas out. For some snake kits now, uh, fishing up in the Susquehanna has been great apparently. Fishing the Corner Ringo Dam, a lot of guys have been catching some big old blue cats. Seen a couple of the regular customers on here on social media post some hammer rock fish out of the pool there. Uh, and you know, if you don't know the fishery there, you do some inline weights, about 18 inches of leader in a small jig, throw it out as far as you can and just jig it up and down and there's some flatheads, blue cats and some hammer rock fish. You check that out and don't be surprised if there's snake if they're not too. So they're everywhere. <laughs> so that's it for your fish report guys. Remember last day of the snake tournament is Sunday. Uh, you know so give it your all, catch them up and that's it for your fishing report. You guys have a good one.